Okay, this is not going to be my most popular answer. But essentially, if you're a company of some size, read Microsoft or, frankly, Facebook or Google or Apple, you can buy things with sort of one of three basic philosophies, two of which probably work better. The first thing is you're buying a startup to fill in a piece of technology, and you just integrate it. You, you have to talk to people in advance, but you integrate the technology. You don't sort of talk to people about, let's preserve your culture. We buy a 30-person company, or Apple, we. Microsoft buys a 30-person company, or Apple. You buy a 30 or Integrate it. You, you, you can't afford to have 20, 30-person cultures existing. You have to get the technology to serve the purpose for which you bought it. If the people who work in that startup don't want to work in that environment, don't buy it. But to buy it and then sort of nurture it as a little 30-person thing, that probably makes no sense. That's one extreme. The second extreme is you're really buying the company, whoever it is, for a customer asset. They have, and in that case, you better do whatever it takes to sustain the customer asset. So Facebook buys WhatsApp. The most important thing is not those technologists and the 55 people. It's the 450 million customers. And if it helps to preserve the culture, preserve it. If it doesn't help to preserve the culture, get rid of it. But you've got to keep those 450 million. Do whatever it takes. When we bought, um, I'll use an example, we bought a company called Great Plains. They did business software, accounting, ERP. We sustained the culture because we were buying an asset in an area where we knew nothing. And we needed to learn and grow and only slowly do the process of, of, of integration. Where you get in trouble is when you buy something that's in between. That's the third case. And you're not sure what you're doing. And that is a dangerous thing. I look at Facebook, and if you ask me to characterize when they bought Instagram and when they bought WhatsApp, they were clearly buying customer assets more than they were buying technology. Because believe me, they have programmers who could knock out the code very quickly. So they were buying customer assets, and, and Facebook's trying to preserve the culture to preserve, essentially, the, 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 the customer base. When Apple bought the little company that led to Siri, they were buying technology for, for voice recognition and machine learning. They, cut, they immediately shot everything the company was doing and applied them to, to Apple's projects. Right thing to do. The best acquisitions, we've either forced them to one of those two poles, and when we don't force them, when we kind of straddle the fence, that's when you probably get the least value out of, out of acquisitions of smaller companies.